What's up, YouTube? Robbie Vapes back again, and today I'm feeling a little thirsty, so we're gonna have ourselves some juice. That is right, YouTube. Today we have a juice review. I am so excited to bring this one to you because I actually haven't tried these yet. They came in last night, and I behaved myself and was able to save them for this review. So the reaction you get from me from each of these juices is going to actually be a true first impression on these. Uh, first thing I want to talk about is the quality of the e-juice. So before we get into the tasting, I do want to mention a few things. First of all, presentation on these bottles, magnificent. It is beautifully designed, very simple. I mean, these bottles, they're nice, they're clear. I love the clear bottles. Um, it's one of the things that kind of gets taken for granted these days. The clear bottle is just nice to see liquid. You see what you're paying for. You get to see the liquid firsthand. The Axiom line is a 90-10 VG to PG ratio with the exception of Apricot, which is actually an even higher VG to PG ratio and is recommended only for drippers. Hence why I have the Aeolus V2 here today to do this taste testing. The DB Liquids line on the other hand is a 70 VG, 30 PG mix. And even for a 70-30 mix, you can see here, hopefully you can see this, it's not super liquidy. It's, a, it's still pretty thick for 70-30, which I've griped, with the, griped about this before in my other videos, but basically I am getting so tired of every single fucking juice company labeling their shit as Max VG and having this runny ass liquid that's gonna leak everywhere. It's just, it's terrible. I hate that so much. These guys, they kept it real, 70-30 VG to PG mix. Like I said, nice and thick. The Max VG is even thicker at that. This is the Max VG, hopefully you can see that here. But again, super, super thick liquid. I can't wait to vape these, they look amazing. Uh, before we get into the taste test though, as per the request of one of my viewers, I am going to mention a little bit of a warning, okay? One of the things I wanna say is that none of these juices contain diacetyl, acetone, or butric acid. And I hope I'm saying those right. I will have a spelling right here with the wonders of magical editing and show you just how to spell it if you wanna search it up if you're not familiar with those. Make sure to check them out. Make sure that your other juices that you're buying don't contain them. There are some potential harm and risk factors involved in those particular chemicals. And one thing, obviously diacetyl will have that big popcorn lung scare. I'll scare a lot of people out there. I don't blame them. It's a scary thought and just look it up if you have if you don't know much about it yet. So with that being said, let's try some fucking juice. All right guys, I am going to be trying it as I mentioned on the Aeolus V2. I've got some dry cotton here. I probably won't be switching out cotton unless I find I'm getting a weird taste. If I do find I get a weird taste, I do have some fresh cotton off to the side here, which I will switch out. So, with that being said, let's give the let's go with the DB liquids first. And they have two liquids here. So the flavors on these, they have a raspberry mint, which is, oh, I'm gonna have to change up my cotton after this one for sure. Raspberry mint is beautifully blended blueberry and radiant raspberry mixed with a perfect peppermint. So that's what raspberry mint is. We're gonna be trying that one first. Then what I'll do is I'll switch out the cotton for sure on that one and we'll test out the remaining juices. So let's drip some raspberry mint and see how it is. Now you guys know, and as you can see, I'm just cracking these for the first time, like I said, but as you can, as you guys know, I am not a fan of menthol, to be honest. So what I'm going to do for all these juices, not just this one in particular, I'm actually going to describe the taste over and do that more so than my overall preference. My preference in this video is pretty much irrelevant. It doesn't matter what I like or don't like, because you, the viewers, know what you guys like, and everyone's taste palettes are different. So. With that being said, I have some raspberry mint on here and we're gonna try it out and I will try my best to describe what it actually tastes like and if it tastes like the description that they have put together. So, without further ado, let's take our first hit and let's taste some juice. Alright guys, first impression, I'm getting a very nice, sweet blueberry taste on the inhale. 
the exhale is kind of like a raspberry mint taste, but the mint is not overpowering actually. I, I, I gotta say the raspberry mint combination on the exhale is beautiful. The blueberry on the inhale is nice, it's sweet, and then it kind of cools it off, it cools down that sweetness with the raspberry and a little bit of mint in there as well. But again, this is not overpowering. The mint is totally bearable for me. I barely taste it actually, to be honest. It's not one of those, you know, your throat's cold or whatever. It's very, very refreshing, but to a certain point. It's not refreshing like a, like a mint or like a, a, a piece of gum or anything like that. It's got a very, very slight mint tone to it. In fact, I'm gonna take one more hit. I will have to switch out my cotton though, just to be safe, and we'll move on to the next one. All right, I've changed up my cotton now, and we are now gonna try out the second juice from DB Liquids. This is called Silly Rabbit. I'm pretty sure we all know what it's probably gonna taste like, but just in case you don't, let's read the description. It's definitely not for kids. That is legitimately the first line, by the way. It's definitely not for kids. I love that line. That is great marketing in my mind. You know, to start it out with, it's not for kids. I don't know, maybe it's just me here. I like that line though. Anyways, going back to the card. It's definitely not for kids. This light, fruity blend will tantalize your taste buds and give you some nostalgia for Saturday morning cartoons, which I still watch to this day. <laughs> Actually, I, I don't because I, they're not the same as they used to be. Um, and I guess I'm giving away the fact that I have tried watching Saturday morning cartoons when I'm up in time, but uh, that doesn't happen too often anymore because I am a late night person. In fact, it is a Friday right now. It is about 2.30 in the morning, so there is no chance in hell I am getting up for Saturday morning cartoons tomorrow. Anyways, that being said, we've drifted. Let's try it out and see how it tastes. Definitely not what I expected, and it's in a very good way. This is a very sweet cereal vape. It is not your lemony uh, tasting cereal. It's not, it doesn't have that acidic taste at the end. It's very sweet and I love it. This is by far the best cereal I have ever had personally from my taste preferences. And I know I said I wouldn't go off saying anything about my opinion because it's irrelevant for the most part, but if you're like me and you don't like that lemon or acidic taste on the Fruity Hoops or the Fruit Loop type vapes or whatever you want to call it, this is definitely a great alternative. It's the opposite. It's got that nice, sweet, fruity taste. It still tastes like a bowl of cereal, but it's so much sweeter and so much less acidic, uh, lemony taste to it. So that's what I'm getting from that. I love this, actually. And keep in mind, the two liquids I just tried, they were both from DB Liquids. Those are the two that were sent to me. I don't think there's any other ones right now at the moment, but those are the two I have. And those are 70-30 mixes. These are not the Max VG ones. And check out this vapor production. Really great vapor production. The flavor is there, it's great, I love it. And one thing to know, you're probably thinking, sitting there thinking at home, knowing how I vape, well sure you're getting good vapor production because you're vaping at 100 watts, right? Wrong, I'm vaping at 63 watts on this right now. And it's just, it's amazing, I love that. That juice is definitely gonna be gone very shortly. I am a big fan of it. In fact, I can't wait to put that shit in a tank and just start vaping it all day long. Those are two excellent vapes. And I think if you like the taste profiles I described, you're probably gonna go out and guess some of this shit because it is good. So that was the DB Liquids. I guess before we go into Axiom, I'll give my overall thoughts on it just in general. Again, I know it's moot. I know no one really gives a shit what I think, but if you do, great. So overall thoughts on DB Liquids. Would I vape it again? Would I go out and buy this stuff? Absolutely. This is for me. I'm a big fan of it. The 70-30 mix, I normally don't vape. But then again, we've all known, you know, we all know that some of these Max VG liquids I don't vape either because they're even worse than some of the 7030s I've, I've actually had before. This is a true 7030. For anyone looking out there making juice, this is what a 7030 should fucking look like. Don't give me your runny ass watery shit. I want that shit. That's what I want. Just saying. I'm losing control a little bit. I'm going to try and dial it back. But yes, I love those two vapes. Overall, I'd go out and buy it over and over again, is an all day vape for me. 
the the uh, Silly Rabbit is definitely an all-day vape for me. The Brasberry Mint, it's like I said, it's really good. It surprised the hell out of me because I was expecting a lot more menthol or mint on it. It is not strong at all. It is very, very, very subtle. But it, it's, it almost adds to the overall effect. Would it be an all-day vape for me? I think at first it would, but I'd have to have something else on the side just to cut it back a little bit. And I think with that kind of combination, it's just one of those things where it's just based on my preference. Some A lot of people will be able to handle that. And even if you don't like mint or, mint or menthols or anything like that, I think you should still give it a try just to see how you feel about it. Because like I said, I'm not getting any mint out of that. And I'm, well, I'm getting some, but I'm very sensitive to mint. That's why I don't like mint vapes. They clear me out right away and this one doesn't do that it's very very subtle overall great job to db liquids and let's move on to the axiom so to start i actually think i'm going to go with the apricot actually i'm going to save that one for last because that one i think i'm going to try last i want to see if there's any noticeable difference in the vapor production based on the same wattage with that higher vg content although considering that the rest are all 9010s you don't get much higher than that usually for anyone who doesn't know, I'm going to go into a rant here before I taste. You can fast forward it if you want. But if not, and you want to hear my opinion on something, stay tuned because you might actually like it. Alright guys, we're going to go into a little bit of side rant here because I, I need to get this out of the way first. The Max VG. What is Max VG? Why are, is every fucking liquid labeled Max VG? Honestly, the true meaning of Max VG in my mind isn't based on a percentage. It's not based on how much PG is used and how much VG is used. It's not. Max VG, by my personal definition, is the base is completely VG. There's no PG added. The nicotine is VG based as well. And finally, the only PG that should be in the liquid at all is the flavoring. No other PG should be added. That to me is a Max VG. Now, you may disagree. You may think it's a certain percentage. I don't. I think max VG truly means the maximum amount of VG you can get while still getting the flavor you want. That is max VG. It might be an 85-50 mix. It might be a 90-10 mix. It might be a 95-5 mix. The point is, you don't, you don't use any PG other than the flavoring. That is max VG in my mind. I don't know if you agree with me. Maybe you don't. If you even stuck around for this little rant, make sure you let me know in the comments below what you think max VG means. If you think I'm right, if you think I'm wrong, if you think I'm an asshole, go for it. It's all the same to me. Anyways, guys, back on track. We're getting back to Axiom to try it out. And first up, we're actually going to do the Banana Cloud Wrap, which I, I used to be a big fan of banana. Lately, I just I haven't been feeling as much as I have before. I think it might be just linked to like vaping out of it and vaping it too much to really, uh, to really taste it anymore. I feel like I got sick of it a little bit because I had that big banana kick for the longest time. But let's try this one out. This is, like I said, banana cloud rot. Before we actually vape it, let's just read the description here real quick. And uh, banana cloud rot, this juice is a combination of my love for custard flavors and for juices with ridiculous amounts of VG. It is a custard blend with a touch of bakery and banana mixed at a whopping 90% VG. Max VG. Just saying. So, moving on. Banana cloud rot. Let's see if the custard to the banana adds anything to it and see if I taste anything different. I, again, I will try and focus on the taste of it rather than the actual, or the taste profile rather than the actual preference or rather than my actual preference. So that being said, let's just take a vape. I'm definitely getting the banana taste at the forefront. The banana is definitely the most powerful taste in this mix. The custard is kind of on the back end a little bit. It's definitely a heavy banana with a really nice light custard on the end. All in all, the uh, the, the mixture works great. I, I don't think I've ever had a banana custard before. I've had banana creams. This is definitely more on the custard side. You're not tasting the creaminess, you're tasting a custard. And it's a true custard, it's not a cream. So it's a banana. Forefront and a custard on the back end. That's what I'm tasting. So I'm actually going to change my wick on that one because the banana was a little bit strong 
not in a bad way, just I just want to change my wick because I don't want to get banana with anything else and mix up the flavor profile, so I will be right back. And just like that, we are back with some fresh wick again. Next up on here, we have two of them, and I think I'm going to go with the strawberry cloud rat next. I'm, actually, I'm going to go with the blueberry cloud rat just because it's next on the list and strawberry uh, custards and creams are always my favorite babes. So I'm going to save that for second last only to the apricot, just because I'm curious of how max this VG actually is um, and if it makes a difference compared to the other ones. So let's go with the blueberry cloud wrap and I will read the description right here before we drip. This juice is a combination of my love for custard flavors and for juices with ridiculous amounts of VG. So again, same kind of intro as the first one. Uh, where was I? It is a custard blend with a touch of bakery and blueberries mixed with a whopping 90% VG. So again, basically it's going to be the same combination. I'm expecting the same subtle custard flavor on the end and the blueberries being prominent in this one. If it's anything like the banana one, that's what I'm assuming. It sounds like it's pretty much the same mix, just substitute banana for, for blueberries. So let's check it out and let's taste this shit. God, I love being a reviewer. All right, guys. So... We've dripped the blueberry cloud wrapped into our dripper on our nicely freshly wicked coils and let's see how it tastes. Definitely getting a very, very sweet blueberry. It is very sweet. I love it, but it is very sweet. The custard is definitely on the back end as well. It's almost like the blueberry and the custard. The custard is almost tailing the blueberry in a way. It's very hard to describe how subtle it is, but it's it's noticeable but subtle. And I'm really liking that combination right now. The banana was good. The blueberry was phenomenal. In fact, over, again, moot point, guys. Moot point, moot point. I prefer the blueberry over the banana. I just I love that blueberry right now. It's a great vape, but just wanted to get that out there right away because that was very good. Very sweet, very subtle custard on it, but it's a nice custard. You can still taste it. Very soft and smooth almost. Um, that's what I'm getting out of it. We'll move on from there. So next up, I'm going to take a couple more hits off this. Try and dry out my cotton a little bit because I did over drip that a little bit more. We'll cut back and I will do the strawberry cloud rat next. And we're back, we have the Strawberry Cloud Rat next up. I've already dripped into the atomizer here, and I'm gonna read out the description real quick before we get into it. Strawberry Cloud Rat is a combination of my love for custard flavors and produced with ridiculous amounts of VG. It is a custard blend with a touch of bakery and ripe strawberries mixed at 90% VG. This juice is an RBA friendly only. It is extremely thick and produces much clouds. Well, I can verify that it is very thick, you can see here, it's not runny, it's bubbling right, like it's, it's definitely VG based. You can tell right there just by the, the actual look of it. And again, I, th I think I like the fact they use clear bottles for that reason, because you can see just how thick this liquid is. So, I'm going to stop talking and start vaping, and I will tell you what I taste. All right, this one is a little bit different than the last two. It's got a bit heavier custard taste to it, but the strawberry is mixed in with it very, very well. It's a perfectly balanced strawberry and custard mix. They're pretty much on par with each other. None of them are really in the background on this one. They're both kind of at the forefront. They blended really well together, and it just works. It is working for sure. As far as vapor production goes, it felt good to me. It looked pretty good. Hopefully it looked good to you guys as well. Um, but they all have to be honest, so it's hard to really say, you know, that it was so much better than the other ones because it, it, it's got great production, but it also has just that great flavor too. And it's one of the things that I'm really liking right now is the flavor in these is on par. They've done a really good job mixing them. It's a great juice. And so far, again, moot point guys, I'm loving them. Just me. If you like strawberries and custard, you're going to like this one. And again, it is a custard, not a cream. It's important to know that because a lot of the strawberries you find these days are cream strawberries or strawberries of milk or whatever it might be. This is a strawberry custard and it is a true custard flavor. I can taste 
actual custard in it. Not creaminess, not anything else, custard. And it is good if you like custard. I personally do. If you do as well, I think you should go try this out as well. I just, again, I'm really liking these juices right now. They're doing something for me. I don't know if it's just the VG mix of them. I don't know if it's the clear bottles and presentation. And all I, pretty much all I know for sure is that I'm, the flavor is on par with what they're saying it is. This isn't one of those flavors where they tell you what it is and all of a sudden it tastes nothing like it. It tastes like it sounds. Strawberries and custard, banana and custard, the blueberry and custard. Again, all of them have that custard flavor to it, but I, I think the strawberry has a little bit stronger custard than the other two I've tried so far. With that being said, I'm gonna vape this out because I'm not gonna waste this at all. I'm not changing my wick on this one because I just wanna vape it until it's fucking dry. And then we'll go back and we'll look at the apricot next. All right guys, we are back just to prove I've hit to dry. Hopefully you can see that. These are dry wicks right now because I fucking love that. But next up is the apricot. I'm gonna drip it and check out the description as well just so you get an idea of what it actually is uh, described as. And we'll see if this one, like the other ones, tastes like it's described. So we've got some drips on here, a little bit more. That should be good. So the description for apricot is Apricot is a very juicy e-liquid comprised of jackfruit and apricot with some citrus splashed in to create a very bright and full vape. It is very tasty and performs well even at 100 watts or more. This flavor only offered at Max VG and is designed for use with RBAs, RDAs only. Now just to check out the consistency of this, just look at this right now, the bottle. Again, it's got that really nice thick VG texture to it. Really, really nice. In fact, I'm actually gonna do a bit just on my hand right now. Just going on my finger, and we're gonna do a different taste test for this one. There it is. It's it's pretty good, guys. Um, we're gonna vape it though, see if it holds its weight, and see how it tastes in a vape form. But so far, I mean, like I said, it, it's definitely a thicker e-juice here. You can just tell when something's thicker and it's actually true Max VG. Um, and again, they're not they're, they're not really calling it Max VG. I mean, if you look at the card, it's they're giving the percentages of the percentages of the actual VG. And although it's you know it's not really saying Max VG on the card, I would classify this as Max VG because you're probably using at least 10%. Well, you're using 10% flavoring, I assume, if it is 90% VG, and that's where you're getting the the rest of the uh, the, the the rest of the percentage on that. These, to me, and this is going to sound maybe a little bit arrogant, but I'm, I'm about 99% sure that these are all VG-based nicotines. These are all 3 milligrams, which I forgot to point out before, and these are not hitting hard. They're hitting nice and smooth for 3 milligram. I've cut back to about 1.5 to 2 milligrams, so I've noticed that in certain 3 milligram e-liquids, if they are PG-based, I find them harder to vape now than I did before, just because I'm got, I've gotten so used to the one and a half to two milligram nicotine and on top of that I've actually gotten used to VG based nicotine as well because all of my own juices are nicotine based uh, for the v or are VG based for the nicotine. These ones I'm like I said I'm about 99% sure that these are VG based nicotines. I guess I could be wrong but at the same time I'd be I'd be I'd be willing to make a wager that these are definitely nic or VG based nicotines and I will confirm that in the description below just for everybody's um, information out there or just so, so I have the information out there and with that being said I've talked long enough let's just go to the fucking apricot and taste it Initial thoughts on the apricot, the inhale is very mild. There's not a huge taste to it. It's got a little bit of apricot taste in the inhale, but it's very, very soft. It's very gentle. It's not an overwhelming experience when it comes to flavor. It's very, very, uh, it's not muted. You can taste it, but it's, it's very subtle. And it's, it's subtle in a noticeable way, kind of like the custard was in the banana rat and the uh, blueberry rat as well. 
This one is again one of those subtle flavors. And on the exhale, you get the nice jackfruit. Uh, I think that's what it's called, jackfruit. I don't know, it's, it's a sweeter fruit. You can tell the difference though when you vape it. Uh, I know what apricot tastes like. Jackfruit, maybe not as much, but I would assume that that exhale is definitely the jackfruit. Now, with that being said, to be honest, when they said there were citrus flavors mixed into it, and I think they did say, uh, where is it? With some citrus splashed in to create a very bright and full vape. I'm not getting too much citrus out of it, and I'm happy about that. I'm not a big citrus vape guy. I don't like citrus vapes. For me personally, again, it's one of those things where it's just a preference. I'm not a big fan of them. This one, it's very low citrus, if any. Um, I'm not tasting much. I'm getting a lot of the apricot in the beginning. And on the exhale, I'm getting the, uh, the uh, jackfruit, sorry. So it's definitely a well-balanced vape. The citrus in it, I didn't get it too much. I'm gonna take one more hit just to confirm that and make sure I'm not imagining things. But from what I tasted, I don't taste any citrus. There might be some mixed in with the inhale with the apricot, but it's very mild. And even the apricot itself is mild, so it's it's very, very subtle. It's not a, and I guess maybe I was expecting when I, when I read citrus, I just assume it's gonna be a harsh throat hit. It's gonna taste like lemon or orange, and that's it. This definitely doesn't have that taste to it. It doesn't have that overwhelming citrus note to it. It's, it's very subtle. The apricot is definitely the inhale, but again, it's very subtle as well. And the jackfruit on the exhale, which is also pretty subtle. And I think the reason why is because it is a max VG mix. I would guess, and I'm not going to be, don't quote me on this, but if I have to guess, I would give it at least a 95 to 5 ratio of VG to flavoring. I, I don't think there's as much flavoring in this just because of how subtle it is. If you're big on those kind of soft flavored vapes, this is definitely one you have to check out. It's really nice to have a vape that's not overwhelming on the flavor. And this one does it for me. This one is a great, nice, soft flavor. And again, that's my guess is 95 to five, maybe even 96 and four. I could be off on that, but if I had to guess, there's 5% there's or less flavoring to this juice, just based on the flavor I got from it and based on the actual texture of it. I would put this at around 95% mix, just me. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. I'm just gonna take a guess on that one. So, with that being said, guys, overall thoughts on the Axiom line. Again, this is a moot point. Flavor profiles, if you liked any of the flavor profiles I described, go check this juice out. Again, the Vape Station carries it and the Vape Depot in Calgary. Both carry these juices. My overall thought on them, I mean, it's good fucking juice, guys. This is good juice. The consistency was right. The flavoring was perfectly balanced. The... The vapor production, as you saw, was good as well. Although I don't really focus on vapor production too much, I mainly focus on the flavor um, along with the actual consistency of it. I know it sounds something like something small to focus on, but consistency of an e-juice is something we all kind of take for granted, especially with every e-juice out there being labeled as Max VG these days. So, the ultimate question is, again with the Axiom, would I go out and buy more of this stuff? Absolutely, without a doubt. I think my top two would be the Strawberry Cloud Rat, and you know, honestly, I like them all. I think it's, it's hard to pick a top two. I'll pick the one that I that maybe was the lowest on my list, and again, it doesn't mean I don't like it. It just means it falls below the other three, and that's a Banana Cloud Rat, and again, part of that is just because my banana taste buds, they're kind of shot right now, so banana and anything, I'm just, I got sick of it a little bit, to be honest, in vaping. And this is definitely a banana e-juice. If you like banana e-juice, go check it out. And if you don't, check out one of the other ones. The strawberry cloud, the blueberry cloud was excellent. And of course the apricot was a very subtle flavor as well, which I loved. Um, and again, it's nice to have that refreshing change of pace for that flavoring. Nothing overpowering, nothing too sweet. Everything was very well balanced. So overall opinions, I recommend these juices. But again, I'm just saying it out of my own personal preference. If you have a similar taste profile to me, I recommend them for you. If you don't, then judge it. Hopefully you can judge it based on the flavor profiles I presented to you and it makes sense. So with that being said, guys, that ends the video here. I'm actually gonna drip some more of this blueberry one 
and uh, we'll basically take it off from there. So, Blueberry Cloud Rat in the Aeolus V2 on the X Power at 63 watts only, by the way. Let's take it puff. Until next time, YouTube, as always, happy vaping.